What's up, guys? Brendan from Market Makers. Pro Trade Room Market Recap, my friends. I had to re record this because the first version of it, when I just finished the dollar, just mega pumped, okay? We had already made a new yearly high today. We just made it again. We got up to, where did we get up to? 96.24. 96.24 obviously affects the Forex currency pairs. Obviously, it can affect other markets like, such as crypto. Uh, we'll find out what happens with the Dow tomorrow. We do have this FIB circle coming up, okay? So I'm looking at this as a potential pivot point unless the dollar just goes can, completely keeps going on this tear. That's absolutely mental. So this is November 16th. This is tonight if it wants to go straight up and hit this, okay? If not, it could be tomorrow, the 18th, all the way out to the 22nd. just depends where it goes. The dollar, with all the macro news, obviously inflation in my country, the CPI report, the Fed tapering, which is really funny because when I watch – when I watch the FX news, people talk about, oh, the dollar, is, it's, it's baked in. The tapering's baked in. I don't expect too much activity to happen. And, of course, it definitely happened, okay? You can see that in our currency pairs that we trade. Guys, I have to show you this one because of this mega pump, okay? So this is a pattern that I posted in the room. I showed you this in the last video, so I'm not going to play the video again. This is a euro dollar, okay? Posted it here before the PRZ. Look at this price declination. I don't even have a FIB that goes out to the four. I have to make another FIB. This is over 300 points in a single trade. Okay, 300 pips in a single trade, and it got all the way down here. I mean, this is absolutely mental. But you know, that's possible when the dollar is just ripping through like this. It's actually actually pretty crazy. It's affecting a lot of the currency pairs, as you can imagine. Anything pegged to the dollar had this great Aussie dollar trade that bounced up before this meteoric rise of the US dollar. It got up almost to the 382 fib, made a double top, descended. Currently just below our first PRZ, we may be going down to the extension. If the dollar continues this way, we're going down to the extension down here at 0.71854. So something I'm watching. Let's go ahead and look at the other markets here. Let's go into the Dow. So the Dow, I gave you this uh, the other day. We have this trade posted in the room for shorting the Dow. This is, a, this is either a Navarro on a daily or a butterfly on a four hour. It just depends which which uh, time frame you're looking at. But you can see, I told you this already, this looks like you're getting a double top. I told you you could get back up above support, which you did, and now it's resistance 36,150. We're using the Tema right now as support. If we do break down here, if we break this double top, you could get a decent little dissension. Depends on the market momentum, obviously. I'd be looking at the 382 Fib at 35,440. Okay, that's the daily time frame. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, you can see your trend regression channel. You are below the median line currently in the green trend. So, you know, this is a little bit of weakness with the Dow obviously printing a double top as well. And if you break that neckline, which could be about 35,917, that's when you could see some dissension down. You may, depending on market velocity and trajectory, be able to rest on the support line here of the trend regression channel, or you may fall through this. And again, there's your 382 at 35,432. Different areas you could find support. Let's throw some different indicators on here and take a look a little bit closer since we may get some action on this tomorrow. Let me throw Ichi on here real quick. Let's throw a 200 moving average on here. 200 moving average. Obviously, I say this all the time. You want to stay above this six and a half months of trading activity, okay? You want to stay above that to stay bullish. So we did fall into our uh, moving average band here. We climb back out of it. We may be penetrating it again. We shall see how that plays out. Let me throw on a volatility channel here. Let's see what we're looking at. Mute that. Volatility. Still in the green, so we're still in the green. If you lose this median line at about 36K, you could be descending down some more from there, okay? Because once you get into the negative, again, you'd be breaking the neckline, actually, at that same level right there. So that's something to pay really close attention to. And let's go on to our next market. SPX, my friends. I drew this, and look how beautiful this is now. This is a beautiful double top printing, okay? You can see this already. It's a beautiful double top. You're essentially using that GAN 4630 as your neckline. So here's your measured move. I went ahead and drew this out to save some time. But if you did get this measured move from breaking this neckline of 4630, again, everything is just, just a target. It's not a guarantee. It just depends on market velocity and trajectory. You're at 4548. Realistically, probably coming down to that support level of 4520. I find GAN square 9 very, very accurate. And there's your 200 moving average down there. Obviously, you want to stay above that. That is a daily SPX time frame, okay? 
Let's look at silver. Silver had this great rise up, as you can see. Some chop here. We call it a bearish ABCD pattern. Fell below 24.9. We're able to claw back above it using the moving average. We'll see what happens with this. You know, there could be some retracement because this was a very nice rise up. But right now it's holding support. So that is I am bullish on the metals overall, as you guys know. And guys, I gave you this this box last video. Let me go ahead and get that off. This was empty, right? I gave you this box. I said, I'm of keen interest of this box right here. Why? Our fib circle and the top of the pitchfork that gold's trading in. So what happened in the gold box? The gold box pumped up above the fib circle, pumped up above the uh, port pitchfork, got rejected. The next candle did the exact same thing, got rejected back inside the pitchfork or back inside the circle. Then the very next candle hit the fib circle on the dollar and got rejected and dumped, okay? Because what are fibs, guys? I get asked that all the time. It is a pivot point potentially for price, bullish or bearish, okay? It is a pivot point. It can be used as support and it can be used as resistance. And this, in this case, it was resistance. Now, gold had a fantastic ride. There hasn't been a lot of trades in here once we had that bottom pattern down here play out, right? We caught this in the ABCD pattern, this great rise in gold. But there hasn't been a lot of trades since then because of the rise that it's been doing. But you know, I do expect gold to retrace some. I think a reasonable retracement is right here in the 0.5 of the fib for gold, which would bring you about 1842. 1842 seems to be where it could go. If it did need more support, it could go down to 1830. But I'm looking for gold at 1842. And again, you know, when I look at my reverse engineered RSI, married to volatility, this is all about explosive power. You had your bottleneck and then you explode it in price. Price was above the median line, so it was able to explode upwards. We got this fantastic move. Even if it retraces, look where the median line is. The median line is right on the 0.5 of the FIB. Always looking for indicator confluence to give you some idea about price, okay? So let's go ahead and advance to the next time frame. Here's our daily time frame. As you know, I told you we have gold in this bearish butterfly, smaller bearish pattern, but it is a daily pattern. It is a lot of candles, and we've been descending since, okay? So this turned out to be a good trade here at this entrance point. Price climbed up a little bit. Wanted to see it get to this 1618 extension at 1900, but it hasn't made it yet. Might come down to the 1842 level and then start back up. And as I said, bullish overall on gold, even though these are trend exhaustion patterns, both patterns have gold over $2,000. 2029 and 2126, I believe. So between these two patterns, that's when you could see some retracement. It could just be to support, okay? It doesn't mean you're going all the way to back down in gold. It just depends what targets are hit. Gold is something I trade often. Gold is something I like to have. It is a fantastic hedge against inflation. Guys, U.S. oil. Let's look at oil. I used to trade oil all the time. Have a black swan setting up here, and this is on a daily time frame. Now I put, took this out to the max extension of the two six one eight. That would bring you at ninety four dollars a barrel. I just took this. You know, this can activate earlier, obviously. And of course, if we lose this price here, price goes below the C point. This pattern may not be active anymore. It just depends on the how the how the candles present themselves. But if we did get to ninety four dollars a barrel, these could be some targets for retracement. And it, guys, as you know, of commodities especially of oil. A lot depends on that, right? I mean, you have economic concerns, economic news, you have war, you have policy, governmental issues. So there's a lot of variables that could play out here. But if this did play out December 28th, if it played out exactly in this fashion, December 28th, you could be looking at $94 a barrel for oil, okay? Now again, this could activate much earlier, but we shall see. And if we did retrace, the most commonly retraced two FIB is a 618 at 73.99. So we shall see how that plays out. And guys, that's all I have for you today in your market recap. I will recap the news tomorrow. I'll recap the trades tomorrow if you like this type of stuff check out our room guys it's a fantastic room it's a fantastic professional setup with professional traders really love to see you guys there take advantage of the limited uh free offer to come try it out for a week and uh happy trading my friends have a great night talk to you tomorrow